Hi, I'm Peg from Sony, and I'm here to show you how to enable and disable pop-up blockers within the most popular web browsers. We are going to go over how to set these options in Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome. So what are pop-up blockers and what do they do? Well, they do just that. They block pop-up windows and advertisements. Just so you know, there are times when you want pop-ups to open. Some websites open a new window. If you have the pop-up blocker turned on, that window will not open. So if you are on a website and click a link and nothing happens, it is probably due to a pop-up blocker not allowing that new window to open. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable and disable pop-up blocking. In addition, how to add legitimate sites as an exception so the unwanted pop-ups are blocked and the requested pop-ups are allowed. For my demonstration, I'm using the VPC-EB. Each file model is slightly different and the operating system and browser version you are using could be a factor, so be sure to check the owner's manual or visit us at esupport.sony.com for your specific instructions on your model, operating system, and browser. Before we get started, you will need your personal computer and access to the internet. We're going to start with Internet Explorer. Open Internet Explorer. Click Tools on the top right side of the browser. Click Pop-up Blocker and select Turn On Pop-up Blocker. The pop-up blocker is now turned on. If you know of specific websites that have pop-ups and would like to allow them, you can add them as exceptions. Click Tools. Select Pop-up Blocker. Select Pop-up Blocker Settings. Now type the web address into the box. Click Add. Once you have added all of the websites you want to allow pop-ups on, Click Close. Once you have the pop-up blocker turned on, if a website has a pop-up, you will see a yellow notification bar on the top. To ignore the notification, click the X. To allow the pop-up, click in the yellow bar and select whether to temporarily allow the pop-up or add it as an exception by selecting the Always Allow option. To disable the pop-up blocker, follow the same steps. Select Turn the pop-up blocker off. If you are using Firefox, click the orange Firefox button in the top left side of the browser. Select Options. Click on the content icon. Place a check mark in the block pop-ups option. To add an exception, click the exception button to the right. Enter the website address. Click allow. Click close. Click OK in the options window once you are complete. Now that you have enabled the pop-up blocker, if you go to a website with pop-ups, a notification bar will appear. To ignore it, click the X. To allow the pop-up, click the Options button and choose your setting. To turn off the pop-up blocker, follow the same steps and uncheck the pop-up blocker box. If you are using Chrome, by default, Chrome blocks pop-ups. You can change these settings. Click the wrench on the top right side of the Chrome window. Click Options. On the left, click Under the Hood. Under Privacy Settings, click Content Settings. Scroll down to the middle of the page and you will see the option to allow pop-ups, block pop-ups, or manage exceptions. 
The exceptions work just like the other two browsers. Add the website addresses and choose the option that best suits your needs. It is recommended just to leave the default settings to block all pop-ups. You can add websites that you want to allow pop-ups after you receive the notification that something was blocked. If a pop-up was blocked, you will receive a notification in the address bar, which is a blue box with a red X. I hope you enjoyed this video.